Good morning, people watching Miss 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, that Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried and rose again. God rose him again on the third day, according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. Works has nothing to do with salvation. Keep that in mind. Your feelings have nothing to do with salvation. Keep that in mind. It's all about believing in what Christ already did. It is grace that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. That's the gospel. That's how we're saved. That's how we're kept saved. Once you accept Christ as Savior, the Holy Spirit indwells in you. The Holy Spirit changes you. The Holy Spirit leads you and guides you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend. Not only are you saved and rapture ready, but the Holy Spirit seals you until the day of redemption, which means you will not lose your salvation. You are sealed by the Holy Spirit until the day of redemption. People are going to argue every day or try to argue every day that that is not true, that you can lose your salvation. That is not true. Once you are sealed by the Holy Spirit, you are sealed. I don't know what part of sealed don't people understand, but it's is better than a Ziploc bag. The Holy Spirit seals you until the day of redemption. Now, folks, things have gone from worse to worse. Now, this article came out on Now the End Begins last night. Apparently, it came out late. Jeffrey put it out late because I didn't see it yesterday. Did the people who actually run our government use Sleepy Joe's mental condition as a cover to intentionally surrender Afghan to the palace uh, to the Taliban. Now, people have written me and said that this could be fake. This whole thing could be fake. No, it's not fake. It happened. Now. From what I understand yesterday, and this is, I'm telling you the truth. I saw this on uh, Newsmax, Greg Kelly, and I love Greg Kelly. He's awesome. He said that, um, and it's proven, Sleepy Joe got a memo twice about what would happen if he did what he was planning on doing in Afghanistan. He simply ignored it and continued with his plan. Now, like I have been saying, this is going to spark a whole lot of stuff. And I heard this yesterday on the Australian news. Now, the thing of it is, and I'm not going to get into the election, but for obvious reasons, because, you know, the thing of it is, like I would like Kevin and I were talking last night about the same thing. This is going to spark, and I have said this on here yesterday, a whole lot of people and nations coming against the U.S. because of this. Technically, he should be, he should step down. Now, the problem with that, if they invoke the 25th Amendment, the problem with that is that you're going to get someone in office that is far worse than this guy. Did you ever stop to think that maybe that was the intent in the first place? Don't forget she ran for president and her, her uh, ratings were terrible. And that's putting it mildly. I mean, her, it, it was awful. They don't want her. And to be quite honest, they didn't want him. They wanted power. And they wanted 45 out. Let me give you this article. It says, the Taliban has seized U.S. weapons left in Afghanistan worth billions. Possibly including 600 thousand assault rifles, some 2,000 Humvees, and 40 aircraft, including 
Blackhawks. This man is pathetic. It goes on to say you're traveling through another dimension. <laughs> you got that right. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. This is like the Twilight Zone for real. A journey into the wondrous land whose boundaries are that of imagination. That's the sign post up ahead. Your next stop. <laughs> he got the Twilight Zone marked out. Your next stop, the Sleepy Joe White House. Afghan intentionally surrendered to the uh, ta Taliban using his dementia. Now, the whole thing is not fake, but he knew and the administration knew what was going on from the jump. Zephaniah 3.8 says, Therefore wait upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all of my fierce anger. And all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Zephaniah 3.8. Now it goes on to say, let your mind wander for a moment and consider the possibilities. Is it possible that Sleepy Joe was picked by the Democrats because he has early onset dementia? The answer is an astounding yes. I've been saying that forever. I've made videos about it. If so, that would open up a treasure trove of New World Order possibilities to enact global regime change under the cover of senility. Sleepy Joe could be used intentionally, hand Afghanistan to the Taliban, let the whole mess blow up, casualties galore, then blame his dementia. When you blame his dementia, he now has to be removed via the 25th Amendment. And the only way to solve that problem is to make camel. president and guess who would be her VP guess who would be her VP no Hillary let that sink in for a while Trump winning 2016 didn't stop the New World Order. It delayed it. And guess what? The delay is over. The Taliban took billions in U.S. weapons, including Black Hawks and rifles, and it was intentional. From the New York Post, the U.S. gave Afghan military an estimated 28 billion dollars in weaponry between 2002 and 2017 including seven brand new helicopters delivered to Kabul just a month ago the war chest also included the supply of at least 600,000 infantry weapons including M16 assault rifles as well as 162,000 pieces of communication equipment and 16,000 night vision goggles it takes uh, Dan Bongino to talk about night vision goggles. And it takes him to talk about this. In just two years, from 2017 to 2019, the U.S. gave 7,035 machine guns, 4,702 Humvees, 20,040 hand grenades, 2,520 bombs, and 1,394 grenade launchers. The Hill noted, citing a report last year from Special Inspector General for Afghanistan, Everything that hasn't been destroyed, the Taliban is using. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said Tuesday that the White House does not have a complete picture of what has fallen into the hands of the Taliban. 
but the current assessment is that it includes 2,000 Humvees, including um, and up to 40 aircraft, potentially including Blackhawks. This poses a significant threat to the United States, and it poses a significant threat to our allies. Let me tell you something. That article I read yesterday about China and Taiwan, China, the China was right. This is a weak, weak government now. Like I keep saying, we don't have one. Videos have already captured Taliban fighters triumphantly opening crates of seized weapons, including U.S.-made M4 carbines, M16 rifles, the Hill reported. They've also been spotted with U.S. Humvees. The war chest will give the Taliban a huge advantage in, in uh, crushing the resistance. <clears throat> I'm going to link this article in the description box. Folks, we're on the cusp of war happening. And we're on the cusp of the rapture. Could it happen simultaneously? Sure can. Sure it can. But something is going to burst. Something is going to snap. And it's going to be at any moment. Any time now. Now, I had made videos last year about this woman getting in charge. But I didn't know the scenario of how it would happen. <laughs> well, think about it now. <coughs> I will link this article in the description box. Along with my, I have some uh, articles on my blog that you're going to want to look at. Because now this age of grace is quickly coming to a close. I'll be back with the next video. Thank you.